Otomi have made mistakes in their updates and some of them even led players to quitting the game. Bye, have a great time. Today we're going to be taking a look at these updates and seeing how bad they really are. The Mega Neons update. So if you didn't know, in Adopt Me there are three different types of pets. There's a normal pet, then there's the Neon pet, which has different parts of it glowing a solid colour, and there's the Mega Neons, and the Mega Neons sift through a ton of different colours. And here's Disco, our first ever Mega Neon pet that we made, and this was like back in the Aussie Egg update, when the Aussie Egg was around, it's pretty cool. So, but the reason people thought that the Mega Neon update was a mistake was because of how hard it was to make Mega Neons. Neons themselves were pretty hard to make. You had to get four of the same pet, then level them all up to full grown, and then you've got a neon. But in a mega neon, you have to get 16 pets, level them all up to full grown, and then get four neons and level them all up to full grown. So instead of doing the process to make a neon once, you do it five times to get a mega neon pet instead of just once, and you need four times the amount of pets. It takes so, so long to make a Mega Neon, and that's why they're super, super rare. And people didn't like them, and people said that it was a mistake, because it was just another update that only rich people could do. Because people who had just started playing the game, it would take them ages to be able to get 16 of one pet, and then being able to level them up and level them up again. So it was an update targeted at the richer side of Adopt Me, and the newer players didn't really like the update. Yeah because of how expensive it was and how long it would take to make a Mega Neon. Also, this isn't me complaining. I think Adopt Me is an amazing game. They do amazing updates. But today we're just looking at a couple of updates that weren't taken very well by the players and were seen as mistakes. And I love Adopt Me, so this isn't me hating on them. But let's go, let's take a look at the second update that was a mistake. Before we get into this, let's do the five second Robux giveaway. All you gotta do to enter this giveaway is just leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below how many pink pretzels you find throughout this video. There will be a ton of pink pretzels flying around and at the end comment down below how many you found and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Also comment down below your Roblox username so that I know that you have entered and I can pay the Robux. So let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. And thank you so much for doing that. You're now part of the pretzel army and you've entered the five second giveaway. Okay. The buildings update. Now this one is like the building slash houses update. And people have like a love-hate relationship with these updates. They absolutely love them because look at how cool this building is. I absolutely love the new toy shop as well as all the other new buildings. And every single time this year a new building or a new house was released, it came with a premium pet that you had to spend Robux on it, meaning most of the players can't even get Robux, so they can't get the pet. Mommy, I want it! What do you say? And that is why people hate these updates, but people do love them because of how much attention it brings to these old buildings and it brings a whole new round of new stuff. For example, new strollers, new potions, new toys. It's super awesome, but people aren't the biggest fans of them and feel like they're mistakes because of how much Robux you have to spend on them. Don't be so sad. I know it's hard sometimes. And Pretzelami, if you didn't know, there were quite a few different building updates. There was the toy shop update that came with the ultra rare squirrel. The sky castle came with leaks for the cobra pet. The baby shop came with the cobra pet. The container house came with the peacock pet. So those were the different buildings, the different premium pets that were added with these updates. And you can see that there was quite a few of them, so that's why players didn't like them. But players loved the new house and the new buildings. But let's get into the next update that was a mistake. The better backpack update. Now this update wasn't really a mistake, it was a pretty good update, but I just wanted to slip it in here because having to click a pet and then click equip to actually equip them and having to sift through the pages, it triggers me. Next up, the voting update. Now the voting update was actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I did like the voting update, but the reason people didn't like it is because they found it was unnecessary, and I do agree. Adopt Me could have added some other features, for example, a clock, and like different types of clocks, such as a grandfather clock, a modern clock, a wall clock, an alarm clock, the list goes on. <laughs> but instead, they added these voting paddles and voting tables, which were a little bit odd. No! God, please, no! 
If you didn't know, this is what a voting table looks like. And how it's meant to go is you and your friends are meant to stand behind here. And as you're walking up, you grab a paddle and then you stand here and watch a performance. For example, like an Adopt Me's Got Talent, one of your friends walks up onto the stage. and then you've got to score them and to score them you just put whatever you want so let's say 10 out of 10 and then you can submit it and then when your turn comes to show everyone your score you go like that and click and bam 10 out of 10. So that's what the update is used for and what you're meant to do with it and it's pretty cool I see it it's an actually a really cool update but who actually does this in their house? Not many people use these things every single time they play Adopt Me whereas a clock it can be much much more used than the voting update. What people could do with the clock is they put it up and when they're grinding they can see Oh, okay, so it's one minute until night. So I have to pick up my pet and put it into the bed because I know that every single night I get the sleepy task. So I have to put myself and my pet in the bed and that way you're ready for the next task. And you know when there's night because that'll be really really good for me in filming because literally every time I try to film it's always night. Let me know down in the comments below if every single time you join Adopt Me it's night. It's literally like that for me. And also Fritz Lamy, let me know down in the comments below if you have used this voting stuff before. Have you used it for like uh, Adopt Me's Got Talent with your friends or maybe a fashion show with you and your pet and you have to rate each other's outfits? Let me know down in the comments below if you've done that with your friends before. But yeah, people found this update a little bit unnecessary. Christmas part two. Now don't get me wrong, I love the Christmas update, it's really awesome, all of the ice golem pets, the husky, the puffin, the leopard, all these awesome pets, but they are pretty expensive. From the different mini games you can do every 15 minutes, they give you a maximum of about 1,500 gingerbread, and that's if you win and get the best score. And then pets like the husky is 40,000, and the puffin is 120,000, so it takes ages to grind for these pets. It takes hours, you've got to do hundreds of these mini games. And people were like, like, okay, I get it, it's expensive, but if I work really hard, I can get these pets. And then Adopt Me went and added a part two naughty, naughty. that came with this. It came with a brand new helicopter and a brand new sleigh. And that was really bad because players didn't like this. There was already a ton of stuff that they had to collect to get the best backpack in this update. And it only went and dropped two new things that they have to collect to get every single item. And these things aren't cheap. It's 45,000 for the sleigh. 400 Robux for the Toy Rescue Helicopter. So I added another Robux thing that most players can't get. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> and also the sleigh, which was super hard to get. So Fritz Alami, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with these updates? Let me know down in the comments below if I missed any. And Fritz Alami, I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace. Yeah.